Okie dokie, we're going to do this without sound, and I'm going to narrate for you guys because this just worked out better. We're looking at Millennium Blade's set rotation, which I got in the mail after kickstarting. It is the highly anticipated uh, expansion to Millennium Blades, which is probably my favorite game right now. So there's the box, and it's nice. Um, I'm going to bring in the original Millennium Blades box so you can kind of see the size there. So that's cool. You know, you get a decent chunk there, but also what came with uh, the Kickstarter that I backed was a series of mini expansions. You're looking at the crossover mini expansion, uh, which has just a ton of promo sets. There's seven card Slugfest, uh, Anansi in the Box of Stories, uh, Grimmery Shuffle promo set, Power Play, Variant Soul, Cell Swords, Master Plan, Mystic, Emprian, uh, Commedia del Arte, Arte promo set. A lot of these I am unfamiliar with, and uh, it's kind of odd that there's so many promo sets that came with it. I'm not complaining, but um, you use so few of the promo sets in the game. Uh, the second one we're looking at here is the Sponsors Mini Expansion. Uh, it has Mage Wars, which is kind of cool. Uh, UFS Red Horizon, Terrain Odyssey, Nier Nero Hima Shex, Heroes Wanted, Frame Wars, Frame Wars, Resistor, and Dragon Punch extra uh did i jump yep okay we're on to three which is the um mini expansion that has two extra characters which is kind of cool it's got uh uh rariti sakar and uh her she's got a few uh promo decks with that as well which is kind of cool um oh also shafile ducart is an extra character so two extra characters moving on mini expansion number four uh this contains um it's a final boss mini expansion, so it's got uh, uh, some cards for the cooperative scenario, which is um, a little bit different, so that's kind of cool. Uh, interested to see how that works. Haven't had a chance to test it out yet, but I'm pretty excited about that. The final one is the Futures mini expansion. Um, it's got promos from future cards by uh, level 99 games esper x seventh cross uh, ballistic cell swords professor treasure uh, tomb trader and trials of indines uh, which are all games by the company i believe now the unboxing wow uh obviously kind of set up a little bit so what we're looking at here it did come with a little mini game uh it's a small drafting game that i'd be interested in seeing how it works i don't know how often i'm going to play it. well considering how Often I play Millennium Blades, which isn't much. This might be a good way to scratch that itch a little bit, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, put that back. So let's take a look. We've got our rule book here. Uh, you already saw the box. The box is really cool. It came with a bunch of either errated cards or extra cards that uh, for the base set. Um, I haven't had time to look into those yet, but I will. Uh, so a whole bunch more uh, just base store deck cards too to, to pad up that store deck. Um, there's the rule sheet, which is kind of cool. Um, and then quickly we're going to look at some of these uh, co-op boss packs, uh, which is an interesting way to play the game cooperatively or solo. You're basically going up against uh, specific bosses that have their decks already pre-planned, and so that's what those are. Next up, if uh, I can get that off the table there, we've got uh, the new cards. Uh, new, sorry, new characters. There's uh, Pritchard Leftfield, Friendly Alien, Let's Strayed is a new one. Uh, there's Cardinal Bands and the Card Shark, as well as more um, promo cards for each, and uh, just a variety of other cards for the already uh, the base characters in the game. And then there's a whole bunch of uh, starter packs. So these are the these are the decks that you start the game with individually. Uh, there's some really cool looking ones in here. Animal Farm, yada, yada, yada. There's, there's a bunch in here that add a ton of variety to the way that you start the game. And I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Again, what we've got here is just an absolute ton of promo cards. All of them really cool looking. The sets are unique. They're... Uh, they're pretty interesting. I mean, some of the backer ones I could, you know, take or leave, but they, they offer cool powers and uh, just really interesting take on the game. The problem is the promo cards, you don't use very many of them in the game at all, and so that was a slight disappointment. The art in some of these, and you'll see this in some of the mini expansions as well, is it differs from the base game, and that's because it's 
they're based off of other games that the company produces. So that's, um, you know, I'm okay with it. It's a, it's a little bit different, but uh, let's get to the bread and butter. And this is the set breakdowns here. We've got, uh, uh, yeah, so that's Quantum Jump. Which is, uh, that's kind of cool. And then, uh, yeah, so the cards are sticky. It's okay. We got them loose. Uh, then there's Fast, which I take it as a Fast and Furious thing. There's Urgh, which is the, the zombie set. There's Saved by the 90s, which is a 90s spoof thing. And then there's the Thousand Pixel Cabinet with Six Pack Man. Get it? Because he's, he's got a six pack. Uh, those are your... Uh, the, the green sets. And then there's the uh, single card premium packs. There's devel developmental issues. There's the guy that developed the game right on the right on the cards. That's kind of cool. Uh, Deuce Rex Machina, uh, Game of Rings, which I'm pretty excited about. I think I'm gonna try to try to look at something from it here. That's kind of cool. Pretty spiffy. It's Sean Bean or something. Uh, Shonen Leap. And then we've got the Master Packs uh, with the Ultimate Steel Cook, an Iron Chef riff, obviously Penny Dreadful, sort of a 30s gangster theme, which is pretty cool. The Ultimate Kaiju Showdown. Um, but yeah, so that's that's sort of some of them. That's the new stuff. That's That's what Millennium Blade set rotation has to offer. Uh, I'm going to go make some Girl Scout cookies now, uh, homebrew, because the season's just about over and they're harder to come by. But this was Millennium Blade set rotation. Can't wait to try it out, and I'm really liking the way it looks.